so now let's go ahead and write some um, code here to get things going. And I think what I did before, I made this the, um, if I'm over here in my stage, and I made this the start screen, I'm actually going to change this um, because I don't want to use that. I'm going to go to winner. Or, yeah, winner will be fine. The winner screen. So what I want to do is I want to actually um, paint in a new one. So I'm going to go here to paint. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go down here to bitmap. I'm going to fill this, and you can make this any color you want. I'm just going to make it a, just to add a splash of stuff here. And I'm just going to add some text. This is what the start of the screen is going to be. So I'm going to pick, um, let's just pick marker. And I'm just going to put some stuff here. I'm going to say, press S. Let's make this another color here. Let's make this black. There we go. Um, to begin the game, watch the basketball on the hoop. Remember the color sequence. And then something else can be important. Listen for noise if same color repeated. And then click proper order. And then aim for the high score. So we have that, and we're going to make this our start screen. Okay. So we have that. Now let's go ahead and get into our code, at least of our backdrop. And what we want to have happen here then is, so I'm coding the stage, if you're wondering where I'm at. Um, we're going to put when clicked. We are going to switch the backdrop to the start screen. So when we go to start this, we're going to, put it at the start screen and then we can add some let's add some sound uh, so we're gonna start um, and let's put in a sound let's see what could we add here let's see let's see sports uh, let's just go with some dance magic here so we're gonna that and let's do some sound let's play oh, let's just start dance magic when we go to start. So let's see if that happens here. Perfect. So then we're going to add a thing we have. We have the S to begin. So let's go ahead and bring this over here. So when S is pressed, we want to have a couple things happen. We want to broadcast a new message. We're going to actually broadcast that the game is going to begin. So we're going to broadcast begin game. There we go. And then we're going to switch the backdrop to where we want to the game screen. So we're going to drop this down to in game. And I think we'll be good for right now with that. Now, a couple things that we want to have happen um, we don't want to show all this on that start screen. See how it's kind of jumbling everything up? So we're going to go up here and we're going to, when clicked, we can hide Andy here. And then we can also put on here that when receive begin game, we can show. And then what I'm going to do then is in my backpack now, let me get rid of these. We don't need them for this project. I can just drag these guys down. And I'm going to do the same thing for all these guys um, that I have in here. 
So I can hide. You know, actually, we could probably leave the basketballs in here. Let's see how it looks. So it doesn't look too bad. We can just leave those there. And then if we press S, it changes the screen. Andy's there and the basketball. So you know what? That'll be okay like that. I think we'll be fine. That'll save us some some time. But if you wanted to eliminate these basketballs where you didn't want them to show, you could just go into each of your sprites and put that code up there and you could hide it um, and they wouldn't see it all um, as well. So I could just throw that up there if I wanted to. Just if you we could put that in here. And I actually wouldn't need another green click. I could if I want, but I could just hide it just like so and then I could drag this over that when I receive begin game it could show so you know what let's just do it just so you can see what it does there we go so now when we do this they should all be gone there we go and then when I hit S boom it all appears so that's in good shape there. Okay, okay, my friends. So now let's get into the fun. We need to create a list. We need to create a situation in which the Scratch program is going to randomly pick the sequence of the colors. Okay? All right, so now let's get into creating a random generator. We need the Scratch program to randomly change the color of this basketball up top. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a list. And we're just going to call this Sequence. And we just need it just for our sprite. In my case, it's Andy. It could be whatever your sprite is. So we have that. You're going to see the Sequence pop up here. Eventually, we're going to want to hide that because it's actually going to be the answer key to what we're doing. But at least you can see how it develops when we go to create this code. And so the way that this works, um, let's just do this now separate and then we're gonna we're gonna build upon this at least you can kinda understand what happens here but we're gonna change this out um, in just a second what we're going to do is we're gonna head down here to our variables and the first thing that we need to do in our list is we need we need to de delete all of the sequence meaning that when we start the game we wanna create from scratch a brand new sequence um, when we go to do that. And so what's going to happen then is we're going to throw in here a repeat block. Okay. And this repeat is just going to be at this point, let's just make it four. So we have four numbers. And eventually we'll get later on, we'll come back and change this where we can scale up the levels. But just so you can kind of understand how this works, we're going to pick this so it's four times it's going to pick. Um, numbers for us and so what we're going to do then is down here in our variables we have this add option to our sequence and so we're going to add and then we're going to go and do some some operators here we're going to pick randomly and we're going to pick one to four because we have four colors the red blue green and white so it's going to pick random one two three or four I am going to put a little sound effect in, and the only reason I'm doing this is just because I want to make sure that I can hear it happening. Because sometimes if it picks, say, blue two times in a row, you won't know that it's doing it. It'll just stay blue, and that can kind of be um, a challenge um, for us to do. And then the last thing that we want to have happen is we want this we want the actual basketball to change the color as well because we're going to hide this sequence box here because that's the answer so we need this basketball to change the color as we go through so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this switch costume right here and we're going to drop back down to our 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 list all right and we have an item block down here um and we need this first thing we're going to do is click this item one of sequence we're going to put that in there and we're going to then put in this length of sequence so th this is what it's going to do is it's going to pick whatever number we chose and it's going to correlate it to the number what I mean by that is so if it picks two it's going to switch the costume 
to number two as well. So that's going to be, you know, over here, red, blue, green, and white. This is why this order is going to be important. And so when we go to run this, I'm actually going to put a little weight block in because this will happen so fast that you won't even see it. So let's just do um, a weight block of one second so you can actually see the, the things change. And this is actually the the code here if you want to make the game easier you can make it two seconds or three seconds so when we go to run this it should take us to our start screen and you can see what happened because I forgot we put the start screen in but we'll talk about it we have on, on the green click it automatically started to do this you can see they went three 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 two but our score here our screen didn't change so let's go ahead and drop this down. Um, and I forgot we already have this program for when I receive begin game. And let's do this. Let's wait just one second so we can actually s <laughs> uh, have some time here. So let's try this again here. So when I push S, you're going to see the screen delete. And then hopefully the color of the basketball change as well. So you can see... So you can see that's why it's important to have that sound effect. We have the two two twos here, so that um, that's the blue. So if we don't hear that noise, if we don't have that noise, we don't know that it triggered to that second and third option. So if we run this again here, um, I'm gonna hit S just so you can see it again. So there, it's randomly picking our colors. And this is exactly what we need to do. Um, so we've got the sound to help with that. And so what you want to do now is make sure your code at this point is picking random sequence. Oh boy, that was real tricky. The colors are changing and you have a sound effect to help with that. Okay. So we are in good shape here and that's good. Um, so now we need to get to the next step in the video, which is to actually be able to click the sequence to see if we can do it right or wrong.